guys welcome back to the channel my name is Oset Hale if this is the first time you are seeing any of our videos or visiting our channel you are especially welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you are welcome as well on today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to draft out a cow neck pattern and with this particular pattern you will be able to make something like this 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 and this if that's something you are excited to see then let's go straight to this video these are the things we are going to be using in drafting out this tutorial and now the first thing i'm going to do is to draft out the front piece and for me to do that i'm going to first of all fold in about six inches like this so you're going to fold in six inches then after folding in six inches you're going to fold the pattern paper into two you see you fold in six inches then you fold your pattern paper into two so guys this starting line now is our chest line now it's time to take the belly measurement and for me to do that i'm minus four from my shoulder to my bust point measurement you can see how i did it guys you say minus four then you take your shoulder to bust point you take it to the waistline you mark it then you take the length of the top which is also the hip line and you're going to rule the lines After ruling the lines, guys, now it's time to take the circumference of our measurement. And on this chest line, you divide your shoulder measurement by 2 and you minus 1.5 from it. So anything you have there, you're going to take it on the chest line. Then you come to the bust point or the bust line, you divide your bust measurement by 4 plus 1 inch. You come to the waistline, you divide your waist measurement by 4 plus 1 inch. And you come to the hip line, you divide your hip measurement by 4 plus 1 inch. So you're just going to connect the dots. You're also going to connect from the bust point to the chest line, which is going to serve as the armhole. So guys, after doing this, we are going to add 1 inch to each of these points. Um, so this is going to serve as the sewing allowance. So now we are going to just cut it out. Guys, you also add 1 inch to the hip line for sewing allowance. Now guys, we are done drafting at the front. You can see how it's looking when I open it up. So this is how the front piece is looking after drafting and cutting. Now I'm going to place this aside and bring another pattern paper to use in cutting at the back. And the first thing I'm going to be doing again here is to fold in about two inches. Just the way we did for the front piece, we folded in six inches, but for the back, you're going to be folding in two inches. Then you fold your pattern paper into two. Now you are going to bring the front piece and you are going to place it on this pattern paper. But before placing it, you are going to fold in this part of the front piece. You are going to fold in this part then before placing it on the pattern paper. Then now you are just going to trace out exactly what you have there. You just trace it out on the pattern paper to cut out the back piece so guys after cutting the back piece you are going to cut out these two inches we folded in so you're just going to cut it out you're going to separate it so this is the back piece You can see I also went ahead to leave it in the back and this is the front piece. So guys, I decided to cut out the straps of camera. They are 14 inches long by 2 inches wide. So basically that is um, the end of this tutorial. We've come to the end of this tutorial and uh, you can see we have the front piece and we also have the back piece. 
and also we have the straps so that is it. you can see this tutorial is not something that's difficult or complicated it is straightforward and easy to draft as and cut out as well so with this particular pattern paper now you'll be able to make four different kind of cow neck dresses with it a situation whereby you are making a top you're just going to use this pattern paper exactly the way it is without modifying it but if you're going to be making a crop top like um a crop top like this you're going to cut um sorry instead of cutting guys you're going to fold in this pattern paper from the waistline so you're going to fold it in from the waistline while using it to to cut on fabric but a station whereby you are going to be making a roach gown like this you are go we are going to extend the length of this pattern paper to the desired length of the watch gown you are making but a station whereby you are making a free gown you are just going to also extend this pattern paper to the length of the free gown that you are also making that is all for this particular tutorial video guys let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please endeavor to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you all for watching see you all in our next video bye